Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to do an ink drop transition in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve now we're on the edit page and to do this transition it's going to be very simple. We're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need all to clip and we're going to need a mat because essentially it's going to be a mat transition. You can find ink drop mask all over the internet and all over YouTube. Just search on YouTube ink drop black and white 4K or ink splash black and white 4K. You will just find a bunch of different uh, results available. Whenever you find something that uh, you like, that you think might be nice, for example, this one, you can then download it by just copying the link right there and then making a new search. Download 4K video YouTube. Here I will use save tube. You can then just place your link there, download it. It will then offer you the option available. So from 720 to 4K, and then you can just download whichever you like. I will always recommend going with 4K because we're gonna put some keyframe on the scale later on. All right, so now that you got all your elements, you can just start by dragging your first clip in your timeline. That will be your background. Then on the second track, you can just drag the ink drop. And then on the third track, you can just drag your second clip which is going to be the full run clip. Here, I'm just going to delete the audio because I don't need it. I'm then just going to reduce my ink drop clip to match uh, my foreground clip. I'm going to select the foreground clip and here in composite mode, I'm going to just scroll down to select foreground. And then I'm going to select my ink drop clip and here in composite mode, I'm just going to scroll down and select loom. Now, if we play it, as you can see, we got all ink transition but it doesn't reach the border of all frame right over there. So depending on the ink drop clip that you have selected, maybe it will reach uh, the border and be a full on transition or it might not be. If that's not the case, you're just going to need to keyframe the scales. So here we're just going to go at the beginning of our ink drop clip and we're just going to drop a keyframe on the zoom and then we're just going to go fast forward when the animation kind of stops. So that's going to be around here because in my opinion you want still to have a bit of movement uh, in the actual clip you don't want uh, that to be static so just reach to whenever uh, the movement is stopping or slowing down so that's going to be around here and then we're just going to increase the zoom until we get it out of the frame like so now let's play it and here we go we got our ink drop transition in case you don't want to use it as a transition but just as an effect like this you can then just take your first clip Put the ink on top and here in your ink drop clip in composite mode, instead of selecting Luma, you're going to select screen. If you want your clip to appear in the black area like so. Or select multiply if you want your clip to appear in the white area. And that's very much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.